Business owners say they're paying migrant workers more money as part of a push to attract workers amid a severe worker shortage. The hourly positions being filled by temporary visa holders are mostly in the restaurant, construction and hospitality industries. So for more on this, I want to bring in Santiago Perez. He's the deputy editor for Latin America at The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for joining us. You also co-authored the recent article, uh, U.S. business owners pay premium to hire migrant workers in extremely tight labor market. So here we go. We listed, uh, you know, a few of the industries that are being the most affected. So I'll sort of re-ask the question, uh, what are these industries and why are they experiencing a shortage? Well, essentially, we're talking about industries uh, that rely on low skill and, you know, these are blue collar jobs, essentially. So we're talking about everything from fisheries to landscaping, construction, hospitality. Um, you may see layoffs at Disney, but we're not seeing that happening in, in the blue collar sector, so mm. to speak. But then why is there a shortage? What's going on? Well, the problem is that there are not enough American workers willing to take those positions, maybe because of the pay, yeah. maybe because of COVID, the pandemic in a way um, resulted in a lot of people retiring. Uh, some others have, have left, left the workforce. So that created a set of conditions which in a way is pushing salaries because there are not enough workers. Mm -hmm. So if you want to retain your staff, you need to improve uh, salaries and other benefits. Mm -hmm. and That's the so, main dynamic behind it. And so then what are we talking about when we say improve salaries and benefits? What are you seeing migrant workers, <clears throat> workers getting now that they weren't getting before? Well, you see, for example, uh, in the past, restaurants would give you a bonus based on meals or some extra perks. Now you are, what you're getting is um, cash bonuses uh, you also have wage increases. Uh, that's also related to the inflation that we're seeing in the U.S. Uh, but uh, also you see increased turnover. So um, employees are looking for better opportunities and you do get um, employment offers because there are not just not enough workers around. Mm -hmm. So because of I know the way I know the way people consume news, some people are probably pouring their coffee in the background. They're hearing migrant workers. They might not know exactly what that means, but there are migrant workers um, that are that that are recruited, that there are special visas for. But there are also migrant workers that do not have visas. Are we talking about both groups? Well, you have a, yeah, um, it depends on, on, on the legal status of the work. Right. Um, but essentially what we are talking about is um, about low skilled workers and um, services, especially small businesses in need of worker because in need of workers because they just don't have enough staff to provide these services that are you know, quite essentially for quite essential for the U.S. economy, mm -hmm. from restaurant services to dry cleaning, uh, landscaping, gardening, you name it. Um, there are visa programs, though, um, for farm workers, for other non-farm worker migrant workers. What do you know? Some of these businesses say, do they think that the visa programs are sufficient to meet the needs so people can come here, work legally in these positions that, as you point out, Americans don't want well um the visa program is is great in a way because it allows workers to go to the u.s work for a few months and then go back home return to your community be with your family save some money while while you are in the u.s but the problem is that the the, the program is vastly oversubscribed so you don't even cover like half of what employers are asking for. So you have 11 million openings in the US and this program, which is still highly insufficient. So that's part of the dynamic. What employers told me is that, you know, the current system doesn't really serve the needs of the US economy. Uh, Santiago Perez, thank you very much. Sure, have a good one. You too.